with the Denver boys. Balenciaga. What is it? Balenciaga. <laughs> what is it? A Balenciaga. <laughs> Have a guess where I have arrived. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my huge channel, everybody. So now we went outside and gonna grab a coffee. And it's we're not looking like which light is red or green. Actually, we're just crossing the streets and we're trying to pretend that we're very Parisian while screaming how great it is to be in Paris. So um, yeah, the Eiffel Tower. I wanted to show you. It's too late. So it's oh my, it's just this. It's just so fucking beautiful. It's disturbing. So now we are on this main street. I have no Going idea how it's called. Go uh, running uh, towards the Arc, and we will definitely find some coffee place. Then we will go to our hotel rooms again. My room will be ready. I will dress up maybe a little. I don't know, like dress just occasionally. We're gonna go for dinner. And uh, yeah, Eto's job is now. actually to to make to get us a reservation at Lulu. But apparently, since the whole crowd, the whole fashion crowd, wants to eat there because it's the only place to eat, uh, it's like uh, I think it's booked for like another month. So um, we will see if we get a get a table. If not, there are like a hundred million trillion other options. But it's like, you know, it's not even that we're like, oh my god, we need to go there because everyone's going, it's just like, just go you there, you know? Because it's Is fashion it? week, like you just have yeah, to Yeah, I mean, it's just, them. actually, I, the more than just dressing up, it's really also to me like to look at people. I just like sitting somewhere and looking at randomly at people, checking out the style, saying how horrible the style is standing up and leaving again that's so <laughs> i mean that's the point the weather is beautiful i don't know what's wrong but god is on our side like for <laughs> once thank god you and yeah now we're walking and let's see where where the road is going we definitely need a coffee 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 coffee, coffee. hi i want to make a reservation for 7, 7 p.m Until 11 o'clock, so do you have any time today? Until, okay. Oh, March, 11 of March, you're fully booked. <laughs> really? Yeah, I know, that's why I'm here. We'll go, and that's it. What do you expect of the show tomorrow? anything it's like 360 anything. degrees it says it, so it could mean anything like is it about the planet is it about ah uh, <laughs> it's a very cultural difference yes maybe everything right like it's a broken iphone as an invitation the team is like 360 degrees it's like at a oh a lot of fashion people but there is something happening here yeah, this is the where everyone takes photos it's oh that's the trench coat girls it's the trench coat girls yeah. ah that's the palais de tokyo so i guess so today i'm reporting live from ellie's up fall winter 2022 collection and it's it's a horror actually it's it's horrible guys so you're missing nothing and it feels like a zoo everybody is trying to get photographed or trying to get a photo of someone uh, famous so i don't know anyone in here uh, it's fun i mean actually it's super interesting for the style of people so uh, it's a cool community um, yeah it's fun but it's also awkward so I understand what people might not attend shows. It's it's all good. It's all good.
no reaction at all. So we just left the venue area. Wow, I need to uh, mask. Um, it was interesting. We saw like some very famous influencer people, Olivia Palermo, etc. And um, I'm just gonna repeat myself. It's not as extreme as it seems, but it's extremely funny to see the people waiting for the uh, famous people, kind of. So now we are heading to a place to eat because it was pretty cold. I mean, not that cold, like eight degrees, I would say, but it's getting colder. So now we're going to the Jardin de Tuileries and hanging out there, looking around for sweet people, sweet French people, for Erto and for me. So maybe, no, just kidding, but uh, now we are going somewhere. And today, what I wore, I actually didn't talk about it. This is my Rae. Uh, it's like a cashmere wool sweater, right? The label of Matches Fashion. This is J.W. Anderson coat, aka uh, cape. This is in my very old cost pants, where I'm not sure what I'm gonna do if, if it's not wearable anymore. And I have my Balenciaga heels. I don't know if you can see them at all. Uh, it's also a super old model of I think 2018, but very practical because they look actually a cool with everything and it's like dark denim so yeah and i have of course my joe gucci, gucci bag with me the first time ever and i wore a pair of gucci glasses that you probably know maybe from my instagram which are like pilot glasses and i actually like my look i think it's pretty parisian uh, it's not as edgy as i usually daily wear my stuff but i think it's suited to the occasion and i'm actually happy and tomorrow I will wear something I will also show you. It will be only Balenciaga because I will will be assisting our B A L N E S C boy, the Alto boy who just received his fucking Balenciaga shoes. Yeah, he did. He got the iPhone, which was the invitation, as you know. He got the shoes as a present because an invitation wasn't enough and um, they just yeah i mean it was insane really i mean it's um he do, i mean he's actually the best ambassador for the brand anyway so it's the least balenciaga can do for him I'm basically the ambassador in the netherlands <laughs> actually in the netherlands anyway but i think you definitely can compete with a lot of people in europe as well so that will be interesting i will be not joining the show but uh we'll be joining him to to the show so uh and afterwards we will see what we're gonna do and yeah it's it's fun and oh, it's pretty beautiful here uh, it's like i mean i get why people say it's the, it's like such a city of romance it definitely is i mean you see also the traffic here it's i don't know how it works it's usually i know how to drive but in the city i don't so yeah let's let's see where we can eat something and if you like just a few seconds of Paris traffic. Beautiful and breathtaking. <laughs> so it's I think 10 30 or something PM oh my god it's almost 11 and Wow. Yes. Okay. No. Oh, here are mattresses if you want some. 
we have been uh where have you been? We have been to Lulu Restaurant, to that very famous place, and that was actually a place where I was extremely positively surprised off. And because I thought it's like the influencer place and it's not a cool place because it's in the Louvre and it's very touristic, but it wasn't at all. Extremely good food. I love the interior, so um, very surprised. So thank you, Arto, here for recommending this place. And uh, then afterwards we went to a um, just to kick something like a cafe because we needed to leave our table at nine because they always schedule double. Because the cook <laughs> were entering. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I mean, what was really hard, and I think this is also something very, very representative. Uh, we d didn't have a reservation, and it is Saturday. It is in the middle of Fashion Week, so we were sure actually that we will not find a table because everything is booked like one month earlier and the woman on the phone said like to Erto yeah you know what just come at 7 30 and we'll check because sometimes people are simply not coming and we went there and in front of us were two girls and they were also standing in line in the queue and they didn't also, also didn't have a reservation and they just looked at her and were like okay if you don't have one it's impossible I'm sorry no no and we were standing right behind her and then this woman looked i mean there was this woman talking to these two girls saying like okay we don't have any space and then the other one looked at us and was like um come at me i was like do you have a reservation and we were like no we don't and she was like um okay wait a minute and i was like we were almost actually wanted to go because the girls in front of us didn't get in and then they managed somehow I managed us to, uh, to get a table which was super nice but I think they're kind of selective and the girls in front of us look a bit like school girls and I don't know definitely no high fashion fans so and yeah it seems like they're a bit they like to choose people and I mean I I mean it's not that I understand it but there are like celebrity types of people I, I get somehow that you don't let like little kids in because you're like, okay, they will go crazy or something. In the influencer world, I mean, there was like sitting Chrissy Lim and Pernil Tyus Bake and like so many other people where I'm sure they're famous, but I didn't know. So that was uh, pretty funny and awkward actually. Yeah, and now I actually wanted to have a cigarette because sometimes when I'm in a good mood, I like to smoke a cigarette. And it's not possible to get any in France because everything closes at 9 p.m. like the tabac places and now yeah we're running here this very favorite LA kind of street where we walked which is uh, the parallel street to the Jardin de Tuileries and yeah that's this is a hotel like very French here you can speak inside so yeah no not Renaissance at all no and now we're looking for a taxi because we're going heading home probably because um, we're not going to an after place we need to wake up pretty early tomorrow so this is why we're going home and having tea and sleeping well because tomorrow morning is Balenciaga what is it? <coughs> Balenciaga <laughs> what is it? Balenciaga <laughs> So we are at Jardin de Tuileries and it's super crowded since it's 
Sunday and it's like the day off for everybody here. But what is very funny is that like the big shops are still open, uh, probably because of Fashion Week, because it's funny because all the Chanel and Louis Vuitton stuff are open. I actually went to the Louis Vuitton store because I can't recall having ever been to one. And now I know why. <laughs> it's horrible. It's so sad to not see any influence of Nicolas Gasquier in the collections. So, oh, who's that? Oh, who's that? Who's that? It's me. It's, okay, that's enough. It's We're going to the small one. Oh, I love that you always navigate everything. That's so great. Oh, see. The steps? Step. Doesn't call the steps? Ah, well, uh, steps though? I don't know, like in the Netherlands we call it like You mean steps. these uh, kickboard things where you yes. drive with? The Mart. Mart. It's the Mart. Daddy paid for food. I forgot to film the food before eating it. So this is the rest. It was delicious, but it's gone. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'm super tired. Um, and we had a great. Oh, okay, I need to look to the front. We had a great day. Uh, we went to the Balenciaga venue. We uh, met some cool people there, also from Berlin. I got in touch also with some other friends. Um, yeah, now friends who have a huge interest in fashion, which is immense because some actually you have never the possibility to meet these kind of people in your hometowns. So that was pretty cool to get in contact with these people. It's 9.30 p.m. I'm so tired. I think I woke up at 7 a.m. and haven't even sat really down, like, except for eating once. I actually need to rest because tomorrow will again be a long day. But I always have the urge whenever I'm on at holiday somewhere that I need to... Uh, use every second and sleep as less as possible because I need to use the time efficiently. Uh, I don't know if it's efficient just to be like dead, but it probably isn't. I'm very tired, so I will go to Arto's room now and see if he's not dead yet. And if not, uh, I will want to go out and have a drink somewhere or something. Because tomorrow I need to leave and Tuesday I'm working again. So yeah, I got just wear my um, Prada turtleneck as always, this Ra'e sweater. Very good at packing, very light and not too much. My all time favorite cost pants, uh, which are like have a strange fit, but I don't think that you see it now. And my old Celine sneakers. And yeah, that's actually it. And my makeup, which I wore, well, which I'm wearing since like 8 a.m. And it's kind of okay. And I think it's night, so people won't recognize that it's a bit old. I don't have a proper jacket. So I'm going to look what Erto has. Maybe he has something for me. I'm so tired. <laughs> but it's fun. I love it. But I'm tired. So here we see, is this already the Louvre? Yeah, I think it's like the one part of it. <laughs> it's it's often, uh, definitely something um, famous. This is the Louvre. And now we're going to a pretty famous cafe, I guess. And have some drinks. And that's it. Today is our last morning together. I just packed my stuff and now we're going for lunch. Uh, we're in traffic right now. This is the scent to our right. And this is Eto. We're not fucked up at all. 
We're super active, not exhausted. Um, no, it's intense, but I need to leave today because I'm working tomorrow and Arto's also me, uh, leaving tomorrow. We're going for a super cool brunch place. And even though I'm not a brunch person, I'm a dinner person, but since I'm not staying here for dinner. Um, well, this is a super cool Celine bed up there. I have to say, no matter how much it is not Phoebe Celine, I still think it has a certain kind of edge to it, like Hedy's famous for and I actually kind of like it and I I mean it's not comparable to Phoebe but I like it and I like that he's pretty consistent in his aesthetics and it fits very well to Paris somehow um, yeah and now uh, we are I don't exactly know where we are actually uh, but it's the first day where we here and it's like really traffic so we see like real people going to work and stuff which is definitely a different kind of Paris so this little bubble we were in the last two days is kind of dissolving um, yeah here's like I mean it's like history history history, history like and at every corner in Paris which is beautiful and now I'm super hungry super hungry I need coffee <laughs> I was just I was talking now like for five minutes straight and I wasn't filming. I was saying we got our coffee, like real quick now. We're in this very sweet French kind of thing, marché. Everything is loose. Also the granddads, like everything is very sweet here. He almost fainted because I just said a minute ago I Demna is here and he thought it was real and I thought I had lost him. And we're gonna see like the Reese now. It's ten minutes, like a few minutes left. We're gonna go now. We have our coffee and see the collection from close up that you could definitely that you could yesterday see from the runway. And I'm so curious what we're gonna see because thanks to the snowstorm, I couldn't really see what the collection is. So let's see. Oh my God! We arrived at the venue. It's gonna happen here. You're running. He's also like filming it for his own purposes. This is Caring Headquarters, like this building here. And we're going into the Risi and see the collection now. And I cannot wait. And I hope you like these tiny bits of Paris. It's definitely something I would recommend. So I hope it was fun. Tell me down below what I can improve or what you like most certainly about Paris or what you think like was the reason for you never to attend Paris Fashion Week because um, yeah, that's also interesting. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this video or follow me on Instagram or also Erto. And yeah, see you next. See you to the next video. Pew. Yup, I'm gonna wear it again.